In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very minimal Christmas church flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You can download them and practice and if you do you can send it on ig and then we can talk over there i must say that this is not an actual program the pastors or the men of god that i'm going to use their pictures i am just using them for educational purpose so it's not an actual program and i do not intend to use their image for anything that they are not aware of now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right, here in Photoshop 2021, I'm going to start off by creating a new document. So you go to Control plus N or File and New, and then you can create any document size that you want. We want to keep it very minimal, simple. So we are going to go with the 4x4 Instagram type of size, and then we click on Create. This is the background that we are going to use. And you know, minimalism means that you're not going to use a lot of things here. So the background is going to be simple. You're going to keep the font also very simple and the overall thing very simple so let's kick start with the background design so for the background i got two backgrounds so we go to place embedded and inside of our resources i would have my first background from adobe stock so this is going to be the one and then i'm going to just position it over here now i do not want the entire background over here so i'm going to right click and rasterize that and then I'm going to add a layer mask to it. Then I'll go for my brush tool, B for the brush tool. You make sure the foreground color is black and then you can brush off the parts that you don't want. So for all the flowers in it, I don't want, I just need the parts that has the light in it. So I can push it somewhere around here and this should be fine. Next off, you go back into the resource and then I had this particular image i also saw it on google and i downloaded it so i'm going to place it on this one as well and then i can press ctrl t or transform it if you don't want to press ctrl t so you can transform it something like that should be fine you don't have to make it that big and then we are going to add a layer max to that as well choose our brush tool and then you can brush off this area a bit so that it blends in you know you don't have to make it look like they are kind of two different backgrounds so and that's basically going to be our background simple right so we select all of that by holding ctrl and then ctrl g and then we can group this to background now we can go straight ahead and add our pictures and this part is one of the most important things that you can take from this video i've received this request a lot of times to show how to place an image inside of a rectangle while you have the head above the rectangle so this is the time to do it now inside our resource we have three powerful men of god from ghana and like i said earlier i'm only using their images for educational purpose this is not an actual program that is coming on so the first pastor that i'll be using is eastwood anaba and then i'm going to bring his picture right in here and take off the background so if you are using 2021 or the latest version 2022 or 23 you can easily go to window properties and then you can ask photoshop to remove background for you you don't actually have to spend a lot of time doing this so if you are using cs6 please upgrade now in a matter of seconds you have your image taken care of and then it gives you a mask as well so if there is the need to make any changes to it you can make it as well now let's go back to our working document and over here to make this effect possible we need a rectangle because you are going to place the image inside a rectangle and the head will be slightly above it so we are going to create a rectangle so you choose your rectangle too and then you can create a rectangle of say this size now for the rectangle you may decide to give it any color at all but later on you can close it up if it's not something that is ideal for you so you can push it over here and then you go inside of your image that you just took off the background and then you are going to drag that into the rectangle that you place here so you can see that there are some lines over here you can take your time to remove that i've shown you how to do that this is your assignment 
so what you're going to do is you're going to carefully adjust your picture inside of the rectangle that you just created so you take your time to do it like this and then you can place him somewhere around here now let me zoom in for you to see something now you check that from here you'd realize that the head is slightly above the rectangle meanwhile he can still be in the rectangle so what we can do here is we can still transform him slightly but the bottom part cannot go over the rectangle so it has to be somewhere around here and at this point this should be fine now what you do from here next is that you're going to choose your rectangular marquee tool and then at this point you may want to zoom in so that you get the exact glimpse of your rectangle so we are going to make the rectangle here and you make sure that it is right at the edge of the rectangle and then you can delete it so you see that it's cut off the part the entire part that you don't want leaving the only the parts that you want in the rectangle let me just bring it over here so that i can cut off this part as well so i'm going to select the image again and then i'll choose my rectangular marquee tool and then i'll make my selection at the very edge of my rectangle if you want to get a perfect cut make sure that you always have this grid showing so that you mean that it is on the edge of the rectangle and afterwards you can delete it now you have your image inside the rectangle at the same time the head is slightly above it now you can even take this one off and make sure that you do the bottom part as well because it is also part of it and then turn it on and make sure that it is cut and now we have our rectangle or we have our image inside our rectangle whereas we have the head slightly above the rectangle as well you can of course make changes to it if you want to do so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group this one it's going to be the first group i'll position it here press ctrl j to make a duplicate and i can drag it slightly over here as well and now i'm going to select the group and then get rid of this image and bring in the next pastor's image so for the next pasta we have pasta elvis Ajiman. so i'm going to also get rid of his background and just like we did for reverend East Hood, we are going to bring his picture here and then you'd realize from here that pastor Ajiman's picture is quite close it's, it's more or less like a close shot so we are going to have this to be quite bigger than the rest or the two images because the two images were taken from afar and this one was kind of like a close shot so sometimes what influences the style that you use is as a result of the pictures that you have if i were to have only pictures like this i probably wouldn't have gone for this approach so you press ctrl t to transform him out just like we did for reverend eastwood you just make sure that his picture is slightly above the rectangle like that so you can bring your keza over here onto reverend eastwood's head and then you can adjust pastor elvis picture to fit that as well so something like this and then we can go for a rectangular marquee too and then make the cutting as well now you realize that this is going to get part of his his ear and a part of his head off but that is fine the style matches it and it's okay so you can just do your cutting and you don't have to worry about the police coming to catch you and now we can make one more duplicate and then bring in the next pastor's picture so you make your duplicate ctrl j and then you bring it over here All right, so now we have all our images nicely cut out but the disadvantage of using this approach is that anytime you want to make any changes to it for instance if you want to expand this a little bit you may have yourself trying to adjust all the rectangles to match it as well so if you are using this approach you may want to get it right on the first attempt before proceeding to make any further changes so once you have this done the next thing we want to do is you want to adjust the backgrounds to match the outfit so that it looks better we can't give them these backgrounds so we are going to select the background for each of them or the rectangle for each of them so pasta eastwood Annabes image for instance you select the background or the rectangle you can double click on the color palette and then you pick a color from his shirt for instance and then you can click ok let's take that of reverend elvis so we are going to choose his rectangle so rectangle 
you double click on it and then you can give him a color say this side now you do the same thing for pastor michael as well so you choose his picture and then you can give him a color like this one and then you can click ok you can now group the groups into a group does that even make sense you can adjust it nicely and place it somewhere around here or place them sorry somewhere around here that looks way better and fine and from here we can then go ahead and add our test to it now for the test we are going to go a very simple and minimal test we're going to use just two fonts so on top here it is going to be either your church name and then the main program so for this I do not because it's not any program I just gave it a test any random test okay so we are going to go for the font called Trajan Pro and the, the test that we're going to use is the Christmas gathering so maybe if it is a convention or anything like that that you are doing you can probably put that test over here as well so maybe the Christmas convention or anything like that and then you can put your church name as well on top here so we right click on this go to the blending options and then we are going to give it a gradient you see these colors here they are so popping so we go to the gradient overlay and then we can give it a gradient from here this is the gradient that I used if you want to use the same thing you are welcome so let me just adjust this quickly here now you just take your time to make yours way better than mine okay now we can then go ahead and add the theme and then the test the scripture everything to wait so to do that also we are going on top right here we're going to duplicate this one the test and then bring it over here and then we are going to edit that to theme so we are going to give it a different gradient overlay so you double click on the fx over here to go to the blending options and then you can change the gradient from this to this particular one right over here so these are the colors if you want to use that as well click ok and this is the second color right over here so you can go ahead and click ok ok and then ok from here now press ctrl t adjust your test nicely to fit and then it has to be somewhere here it doesn't have to be so close to them and then you can make a duplicate one more time bring it over here and the theme is going to be jesus so you press ctrl t to transform jesus to make it bigger or the name jesus to be bigger and then you can close it up over here you can then make one more duplicate edit this one to the reason for the season and then you can press ctrl t to transform it and make sure that they are all aligned perfectly so something like that should be fine now after this you need a bible verse to support this so to do that you're going to create a rectangle so you create a very simple nice rectangle over here and then we can right click go to the blending options and then we are going to apply the same gradient on top of this as well now on top of that we are going to put in the test or the scripture that we will use so for that we cannot use the color black so we are going to change the color to white press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely to fit the rectangle that you just created so and now i probably would have to open my rectangle a little bit to fit this whole one remember we are going the minimal way so from here the next thing we want to do is we want to create one more rectangle right underneath here and then we are going to put in the date and then the time so for that rectangle we are still going to use the effect from the rectangle on top so you can hold alt and drag the effect onto the rectangle that you just created so it gives you this effect as well so on top of that we are going to add our date and then our time so you can put your date and then your time right over here and for this font remember i told you we are using only two fonts you are going to go for poppins semi bold or semi bold okay so we take our time to position it right over here and for the date i want to make it a bit bolder so i can go for extra bold and then increase the size a little bit like that so that it stands out and then if this were to be an actual program you can place your church venue over here so your church venue will be over here and on the left side we are going to put our time there and if there are some more directions or 
any other information that you want to put over there you can just make time or you can make space for this and then for instance if you are to put like contact you can put it over here and put your date in between but since i don't have any much information for this and i'm just freestyling this it came out of my head i'm just going to add a rectangle over here and then you make sure that it is at the top here a bit and you remember the gradient that we added to this right we can come right over here copy the layer style and paste it on this rectangle that we just created so paste layer style and then you'd realize that it has been pasted over here and on top of that we can add our time so let's make a duplicate of this test push it to this side and then type in say 6 to 9 p.m all right so let's say 6 to 9 p.m each night and then this is too much so let's reduce the size of the night and with the help of the leading and canning you can easily close it up like that as well and then you press ctrl t to open it up to fill the entire rectangle that you just created and you can keep it like this if you want but if you don't want you can actually add this gradient on it and then you're going to have something like this i do not really like this one so let's go into the gradient and let's try to find something more dark that can show it out so let's go for this one i think this one works best and then we click ok so at this point what you're going to do is you're going to select this the rectangle and then the date and then the venue and then you can group that press ctrl a and make sure that you center it so that it will be in the middle of this particular rectangle that you created over here and like i said earlier i think my images are too big so let me just close them up so that i'll have space to input or insert their name so for this part we're going to just input the past test names right over here so underneath of the images we are going to choose our test tool and we go back to trajan pro so we are going to basically type in their names so the first pasta will be reverend Stood anaba so you press ctrl t and then you can transform his name nicely to match his picture like that okay and then we make one more duplicate drag it to the next side so we have pasta elvis ajiman also here you can even drag it down like that and then you make one more duplicate and then you are going to have a pasta eric body nyamiche also over here so now we're done with the images the next thing that we want to do is a few touch-ups add some flare and then some shadow to it. so for the images part we are going to add a flare to it so on top of the image section over here or the image group we go into our resource so file place embedded and then we have this particular lens flare over here so you can double click on that and then import it inside of photoshop now let me just give this a new name right over here go to your blend mode and then set this to screen what this is going to do is is going to get rid of the background and then or the black background and you are only going to find the flare over there so one thing about flares is that the more you open it up the more it's brightening so we can open it up slightly like that and place it over here so we make one more duplicate and then we can drag it over here and then you can position it somewhere around here or let's even try to bring it down slightly like that and this one too now underneath of this one we don't want it to be hanging like that so we can select this rectangle beneath it we can go for our ellipse tool and try to create a very simple ellipse like this so we want to create a bit of shadow underneath of this one so let's double click on this and give it a color black and then we can position it somewhere around here now we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we can rasterize it and give it a bit of blur like that so the more you increase it the more it becomes very soft like that so something like this should be fine and then you click ok when you get the desired results that you want so you can still press ctrl t to close it up a little bit so that it becomes more realistic and very nice and afterwards you can make one more duplicate and, dr and send it right over here you press ctrl t and then you can close it up take your time to position it it has to be under this particular rectangle so 
what you are going to do is you are going to drag it underneath of that rectangle and then you can bring it down like that and now you have a shadow also created for this one as well one last thing that we can add to this will probably be this christmas bell to give it the christmas vibes because this is supposed to be a christmas church flyer okay so you can place it somewhere around here and this should be fine and that is how you create a very minimal church flyer design for your church conventions church gatherings christmas church flyers you can use this approach to create any of these that i've mentioned so far what i thought about this design i'll definitely love to hear your view in the comment section and in case you download the resources and then you practice you can send it to me on instagram so that i can look it up for you and then we can converse from there as well thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i have other videos of christmas church flyers on parties dinner invitation cards 31st night if you are looking for videos on that you can look them up over here thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye